Hey guys, Steamper here, welcome back to another video and this one is for you casual players out there or for people who actually don't have much time to play the game. I will show you how to get filthy rich without um, any crafting, anything like that, right? You'll get rich and you'll have fun doing it. However, before we start, I just want to say thank you for the overwhelming support. We're about 2.3k subs at this point and our next goal is to hit 3,000 subs. So I would greatly appreciate it if you guys would subscribe, especially if you enjoy the content, right? Um, anyways, Patrons moving on, all you need for this, right, is a spaceship, yeah. so over here, let's just say you want to see and modify our ships, we need any ship, right, obviously the higher difficulty you play on, the harder this will be, lower the difficulty, the easier it will be, so I'm personally playing on very hard difficulty, new game plus 11, thus the space fight's a lot more challenging, even if you have a ship that resembles something like this, right, with all the best stuff on it. Okay, now without further ado, let's make this our home ship. I'll do a separate video to show you why I keep running the Starboard Guardian even though I have this ship, but that's a that's a video for another day. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. First things first, after you change the ship, you just want to go up in orbit quickly to make sure that all of your power is distributed appropriately, right? So here, what we want to run is up maximum shields, close to maximum engines, and the weapons can stay like that right then we quick save our game and we make our way to serpentis my favorite system in this game yeah that's the big bright yellow dot there Alrighty, just gonna power up that grab drive and we go from there all right now we've made our way to serpentis we want to power up our shields to the max and power up our engines to the max because there is going to get hairy here so then we got Varun prophecy spawning there and we have a Varun eulogy let's just go and melt this eulogy first oh that was a close call i told you this is going to get hairy for me now that the eulogy is out of the way prophecy is ours for the taking and we just want to get those shields nice and low we're going to target here Get those engines down. And now we're just going to dock them, right? That was nice and easy. Could have gone a lot better though. But hey, very hard difficulty. You get plus 11. Even with the best ship, you will get melted, right? You're going to be very... Alright, so. We've cleared up most of the ship here. There's just that turret there that's left. So what we do now is... We'll go back up here. Obviously, there's... Of a good chance here to get good gear um, and the credits so that's almost 10k credits there but the real price is the ship itself okay so here's what we're gonna do here we'll just detach real quick okay now that we've detached what we want to do here is Aim back at our ship. And before we do that, we're just going to go ship here. And we're going to make this a home ship. And then we're going to dock back our ship. Because we're not going to sell them one at a time. We'll just stack them up. Then we're going to go from planet to planet. And just deplete all the vendors of their credits. Okay. We got board here. Okay, cool. And now we're going to make this one our home ship. And we're just going to rinse and repeat this process. Cool. Get back in the seat. And we'll be moving on to the next planet. Okay, some hostile activity there, we're not interested in that. What you want to ideally want to do here is pick like one to two ships maxed. So you're not getting overwhelmed right away. Alright, the hunt continues here. We want to repair our ship quickly. And then we want to obviously assign some more power to the weapons there. So our first 
ship is there. I wanna melt him as soon as possible. Because there is obviously another one that's shooting at us. And we need to close the distance ASAP while we repair. And now we wanna target those engines. Ooh, almost killed it there. <laughs> almost. And now we need to go back here and redo the same thing again. Okay, let's board. Alright guys, now that we're on board here, the same sort of strategy applies. We just need to systematically kill all of them. But um, what you find here is there's going to be tons and tons of weapons as well. You know, chance to spawn legendary gear, so on and so on. Then we move down. We just need to be very fast. Obviously, the quicker you go, you can maximize your chances of um, getting more and more ships here. Um, just use that quickly. Okay. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. There we go. An advanced... Oh, sorry. <laughs> advanced crew pack there. Legendary. And now the real price is the ship itself. Unfortunately, there's more people that we need to take care of here. Okay, I like this layout. It's much more easier to clean out rather than the prophecy here. And then we're going to apply the same logic here. We're just going to take the ship. We're just going to detach quickly. Okay. Now that we've detached, we want to go to ship here. And you'll see here the prophecy is there. And so is the revelation. So we're going to make this our home ship. And then as soon as we do that, we're just going to dock back our own ship. Hmm. I wish these animations go a little bit quicker. Okay. Board it back up. Then what we do is, once again, we make this ship our home ship. Oops, there we go, Blackbird, confirm, and then what we want to do is fly back to Alpha Centauri, or whatever ship merchant you want to go to, I prefer Alpha Centauri personally, and we go to Jameson there. Guys, now we're back in Alpha Centauri, and what you want to do here is you want to talk to this person, and you want to go to see what ships he has for sales, sure you can find something you like. and then you go to sale, right? Make sure that this is your home ship and not all the other ones because they will be getting sold, right? So, what you want to do here is you want to press left bumper and A at the same time. And then it will sell the Varun Revelation for 41, 315 credits. Mind you, this ship here is not registered, but we can still sell it. See here, top right corner, I have 1.6 mil and the vendor has 140k. After we sell this, the vendor has 100k left. Same thing again, L, B, and A. Do you want to sell the ship for 663k? Yes, I do. Give me those credits. Thank you very much. And last but not least, we have the ship here. Once again, L, B, plus A. And do you want to sell the ship for 36k credits? Yes, I do. And we just made ourselves 140k credits. Guys, there's no shame in doing this. You're right, you're not crafting anything. You're not doing anything. You're just not registering your ships, essentially, right? You're still working for it. So it does make the exploit a little bit more legitimate, right? And at the same time, you're making quick credit so you can, you know, go and do things that you want. We're all restricted by time and hopefully this made your life a lot easier. As always, thank you for watching and I hope you ca to catch you guys in the next video. Peace.